scores are all based on where you go next if something happens with them. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. One of the scroll is taking, this is the, the shuttle's now rolling around the track. Like this. And you'll see the sun moving on the uh, head bottom. position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system. That white system in the background of the earth. Six minutes, so the 20 satellites seconds into the flight. The, uh, can now talk to the shuttle through the satellite rather than through the ground station, because the antennas are on the top of the shuttle. Atlantis crash to Nico. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Nominal. Buggy, go to flatback, go to pitch. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following main engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. The little uh, flares you're seeing above there, I think are the uh, Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation the of the external fuel tank. Later, you're going to see the shuttle separate, so you'll see the black underbelly move away to the top of the screen, leaving the tank behind. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. <coughs> so now suddenly all of our arms are on. Time, the space shuttle's main is engines have fallen down, silent geez. as the shuttle slips suddenly into the final chapter of a story, 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. So here, yeah. this is being initiated by the shuttle firing its thrust jets, and you'll see the, the flaring oh puffs. And then you, because no one's accelerating anymore, now you can see the tank. Frozen. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. So, ohms one is not required. Your preliminary ohms two pig, 37 minutes. Well, that's great. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I mean, honestly, the, the feeling is I have cheated death one more time. And you just go, wow. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, at this point, it, now it is on the crew, they have a lot to do. And uh, rapidly, I don't know if they're going to make an effort to take a picture of this tank from the space shuttle. I think they do. Uh, um, people pretty rapidly start to take their helmets off. And of course, the first thing you must do is not throw your helmet. Your helmet weighs like about five, ten pounds or something. If you move it too hard, it'll bounce off something and, and damage something or a switch. Or, um, so the very first thing you have to be aware of getting into space no matter how many times you play, is to move slowly, really, really slowly. Because if you move too fast, you're going to knock something, and it will fly in a straight line across the cabin and hit somebody or something, uh, and then back and ricochet. Uh, so that's the first thing you do is go move slow, move slow. And you, but as I say, the first thing that happened, which didn't wasn't slow, was your arm going straight up like this, and everyone's arms just can't help but go. <laughs> this is Mission Control Houston, Atlantis safely in its preliminary orbit. Following a flawless launch from the Kennedy Space Center, albeit about two and a half minutes late at uh, 10.29 a.m. Central Time. The 
launch slightly delayed uh, so, uh, while engineers at the Kennedy Space Center confirmed uh, the complete retraction of the gaseous. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the issue they had, he's saying, it was the uh, the full retraction of the of one of the servicing arms, and I'm not sure which one it was. I think it's the system that supplies the continuous oxygen and hydrogen to the fuel cells. That arm didn't retract fully, and they had to confirm it. Well, 